Yeah, we back. <laughs> we back, yeah. I'm gonna let you take that uh, look I Told y'all about my bad Pluto. <laughs> Not playing with my bad Pluto, man. All right, we back, though. We back. You already know we going. Keep going strong. Being consistent. Mm. All right, I'm about to put something up on the screen I want y'all to look at right quick. Y'all see, y'all see what's going on, man. Y'all see what's going on. But listen, y'all. Listen for real. We not gonna know where we going unless we know where we been. And I ain't talking about your little short span of life. Or even your parents or your grandparents. You got to go way back, way back, way back, way back. You got to learn history, man. And the information is available, man. You just got to dig for it. You got to research. You got to look. So I'm about to uh, put this word on the screen. I want y'all to look at this word. Some of y'all might have heard this word before. Some of y'all might have it. But this word is um is basically an idea that somebody came up with to create a master race. You feel me? So um I don't want y'all to think this is a black or white thing, cause a lot of y'all get white confused as a race. Y'all get black confused as a race. Like, I'm West Indian, you feel me? I got a homie. He's Haitian. But we look alike. <laughs> but we are two different ethnicities. The same thing with so-called white people. <laughs> All of them do not get along all of them do not like each other. So this was a plan that was hatched many, 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 many years ago to just create a superior race and basically eliminate everybody else. So now you gotta put two and two together and you gotta think about what's going on today. With all the deaths, the diseases, then you then you go then you can see why these things are happening, why these things are going on, and you won't be caught up and be fooled, bamboozled, to basically wipe yourself off the map. You know what I mean? It's an agenda to create a superior, just that superior race, that one race. And that agenda come from the people, the higher ups, the people that's in power. It's an agenda that's that ain't done. It ain't you feel me? It's no, it's nowhere near dead. So I just want y'all to be on point, man. Just, just, just research and just be conscious of what's going on, man. Because. We at war. From me, we've been at war. And it's really, it's really against. It's just a small, you know, a small group of people that's in power, bro. That that that. A small group of uh, people that's in the highest, the highest positions. You feel me? So they really outnumbered. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. They really outnumbered.
But because of the resources and the power and influence that they have, they're able to dictate the lives of billions of people. So just do y'all research and learn, man. Learn what's going on around y'all, man. You can't be a wolf if you easily hunted like that. The wolf, you feel me? Y'all gotta see how wolves move, you feel me? Like wolves, they attack, they hunt you, they stalk you, you know what I mean? You gotta be a wolf, you gotta be aware, you gotta be prepared. That's how you be a wolf. Or you gonna be eating like a sheep. But that's... That's just how I want. Well, I got a bro, man. Look, I got a bro on here, y'all, man. Bro on here, man. Yo. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get you turned up, bro. Let me get you turned up. They got head, bro. All right, talk, bro. Talk. Be home real soon. And I mean, sound like all the brothers out there. What's up with all my boys, more dudes, you feel me? All the females, what's up, man? Nah, it is. Yeah, man. We got Broski reporting live, you feel me? But, um, yeah, yeah. he's a part, yeah, man. I'm, I'm so glad yeah, he. Brother. I'm so glad. Like, okay. You already know, man. I'm so glad you caught me because. This is going to be like, yeah, probably one of my subjects I want to talk about just being around fuck niggas. You feel me? Because, cause you know what the crazy thing is? I hate looking at your gram, bro. You feel me? But you know, sometimes I go on your gram, you know what I mean? But then I see that bitch ass nigga on there, you feel me? And it, it, But it just reminds you, and this is just to anybody, watch the closest people around you. Because they'd be the ones yeah. to bite your fucking back out. You feel me? So yeah, like, yeah. that's just probably one of the topics I'ma uh, jump on. You feel me? I wanted to uh, review another classic. Now to me, it's a classic. I mean, to some of y'all, y'all probably ain't never heard this joint. Probably never saw it, but it's a, it's a, it's really a good, good movie. The Count of Monte Cristo, classic. You feel me? Classic. Basically, um, man, I'm gonna just go ahead and just play the clip for y'all. Of course not. Good. Stop it, Fanon. I don't have time for this. I saw Napoleon give you that letter. It was you? Well, it wasn't just me. It was Dunglass' idea. Why didn't you come to me first? Well, why did you keep it a secret from me? I thought you were my friend. I told you I gave Napoleon my word. He lied to me. I know, Edmond. I read the letter. Why are you doing this? It's complicated. Complicated. Don't be ridiculous. Get out of my way. I can't let you go, Edmund. Why? Because 
you're the son of a clerk. And I'm not supposed to want to be you. In here. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Remember better days. So I'm gonna give y'all a little backstory into this. So this is around like you know like the, the the time of um, Napoleon Bonaparte, you know those French wars and revolutions and stuff like that. So basically, the one guy, you know, he wasn't really educated like that. Couldn't really you know couldn't really read and stuff like that. So he ended up taking a message that really was, you know, kind of like, you know, against, against his countrymen, against, you know, against what they was going against. But, you know, he didn't know he was being used. But his friend, his best friend since childhood, his best friend read that letter and knew that his friend was being used to carry out this message. He let it happen because of pure jealousy. And this is this was his best friend. You feel me? This is his best friend. And it's just, and man, it's just to just show. Same thing, and man, same thing with my brother. You feel me? Got sixty five years. You feel me? For the so called best friend. You feel me? Rolled on them, you feel me? So I just want y'all to be aware, conscious of who y'all have around you because sometimes people be jealous of you for the for the smallest things, and you just you don't you don't even know why they jealous, but they jealous of you for the smallest thing, and that jealousy turns into envy, and that envy turns into just. Is it's danger for you, you feel me? It's gonna cost you your life. So just I yeah, mean, just be conscious. If if you hear him dropping little little diss, little little yeah, man, little remarks, they basically letting you know how they feel. So don't ignore that. Once you sense some type of jealousy and that's your cue to yeah, man, get away, get lost. Just be on point, man. Mm. But yeah, kind of money, Cresto. I want y'all to check that out, man. I want y'all to really check that out when y'all get a chance. But um, yeah, man. Still kind of under the weather. Still trying to get myself together. Still trying to feed, still trying to feed the streets, though. You feel me? Still trying to be consistent, man. Um, I'm just go ahead and wrap it up. But I'm going to leave y'all with some bonus footage. And man, like, share, subscribe, comment. Like, we're going to just keep, keep building and building and building and building. Drop it low where you at mm, 
she call herself a real one But can't even tell that I'm the real one You ever got smacked with a real gun? My homie you just smack cause the pill's done I only need a fan to make a million Money in the bank in New Zealand mm, And it keep me appealing Now I'm grabbing on Brazilian She said don't pull out, 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 don't pull out baby Clock 19 on me oh, I remember I was going high speed And these fuckers try to sentence me oh, I remember the day they sent me away For guilty by some judge